I think after coming out of that environment, I, he is a completely changed child. My father is a soccer coach, so he thought I was going to play soccer, but eventually uh, I moved to the big boys and started playing rugby. He runs hard, he runs fast. Uh, we're still working on a few technical things that he perhaps needs to get right, but it's, uh, it's been great watching him out there on the field. Previously, when I was playing, players used to get scholarship, but this is the biggest this town has ever seen. Oh, so I grew up in Durban, but um, 2016 I moved to Mandini and I started living there with my parents and I started playing my, my rugby there as well. He started there, we, we didn't take him serious. We thought maybe, oh, it was just, it's just it's, it, he was just doing sport like every other kid at school. He asked for soccer boots, we bought for him. He asked for this stuff and that stuff, we bought for him. He went for trainings, we allowed him. To our surprise, he came back with some medals. Ow. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, you know, he got to love the sport. And we, we decided, no, you know what, we, we need to give him support. Because we could see now, that was like his passion. I met him two years ago and I started coaching him at under 15. He was 14, I think. He almost improved other players by him coming here. I also coached him for ID tournament. ID tournament involves all the teams from KZN, players from underprivileged schools. That's where he got selected to, to go play power. So yeah, he was a very promising player. From the time I saw him, I saw a good player, yeah. I was scouted by a coach called Menzi Ngeba and gave me an opportunity to go to play for this tournament. And the first year I made um, the KZN Sharks at Cryo Week. And I played there. And then 2016, I played there. Oh, 2017, I played there again. And I got scouted by Hilton College Scout and gave me a scholarship to Hilton College. Previously, when I was playing, players used to get scholarship, but this is the biggest this town has ever seen. Hillcrest, mostly they get from Devon Academy, which are not those, those big schools, but Hilton, biggest school in Kazakhstan, he's the biggest player to, 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 to achieve in our area. Hilton College is a, a private school, it's a boys only school, about 500 boys uh, situated in the KZN Midlands. Uh, rugby plays a big part in the school. Uh, we've had quite a few rivals who we've played for over the last 100 years or so, and it's, uh, it's probably one of the most popular sports at the school. When I went there to, to view the premises, all the facilities, I was actually tearing because that's not the kind of education we got. I, I can't believe it, even up, up until now. I look at his photos, I've got photos of him, and I look at it, even the school, it's, I don't know, it's totally different. When I came here, like, I was surprised, I was like, wow, it's such a big school and such an amazing school as well. It has great facilities and everything, the vibe here is really nice and the school is really good. Mani Lisi joined us from, from the KZN development. Um, he was always a talented rugby player. He's got a very nice frame. We were fortunate enough for him to come join us, uh, part of the, our, our People's Fund, and we've worked hard with him to, to try and improve him as, as a rugby player and a person. Also an opportunity for a lot of the boys who are more privileged uh, in, in, our, in, in our school to actually realise that uh, not everyone comes from the same background that they come from. And rugby is a good vehicle, to, it's a good leveller for everyone. As long as you put your work in, the people will respect you and appreciate what you do for them. Well, my first game um, was on tour we played against St John's. St. Norbans and St. Benedict's. That was my first game for Hilton College. And it was a great experience, like I really enjoyed it. And my second game against St. John's, I uh, ended up scoring a try, which was a great experience for me. He's a pro. Wow. The child is tough. <laughs> He's good. Most people who were watching that game, they didn't even know that the parents were there. But they know, they call him by his name. He's been given a nickname too. They call him Blaze. <laughs> they call him Blaze. He can run. I watched him play. Wow. It's just so, like, you know, heartwarming. I'm very happy for him. And he's going further. I know he's going further. Maybe he's going to play for the Sharks one day, so it's promising for our area as well.
Well, my, 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 my hopes are to play for the green and gold one day, and we're going to the seniors now, so I, I'd like to play for the first team. And I'd also like to make uh, Cravenuk and SA Schools on 18. The world is uh, you know, the young kids nowadays oysters, you know, they can really go out there and, and uh, take whatever opportunities that, that, that come their way, you know. Uh, the, the Varsity Cup here is very popular, uh, the international varsity is, uh, rugby is a, a, a global game and prevents opportunities to play all over the world. So you don't really want to put, put a limit on it, but uh, I'm sure if you put some the hard work, you can achieve some great things.